Hello, good evening, Elsa and Andrea. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Andreita. How was your Friday? Um, a little bit busy. A little bit busy. Hey, Andrea, how much time have you worked for that company? Uh, six years. And before that, uh, did you work in another place? Or you sí, didn't eh, work? No trabajaba. Eh, sí, trabajaba en, en un almacén uh -huh. de ropa. In a store. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, that's it. And how old were you when you started working? 18 years old? Uh, 18. 18. Hey, very young. Innocence. Yes. Innocence. Sí, yes. <laughs> okay. Fine. Thank you, Andrea. Elsa, hello. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Oh, how was your Friday? Good. Very good. Okay. I like to hear that. And, yes. and let's see here how Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very good. Very good. Well, I, I, I like to hear that. 
Uh, we have now Luis over here. So, hello, Luis. Good evening. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Hey, how are you doing, Luis? I need a rest. Yes, so do I. I need a mm -hmm. rest too. For three days, really? minimum. <laughs> yes. At least. Or more. Okay. Okay. Um, ya que dijiste mínimo, I'm going to send. Mm. At least. Es al menos. O como tú dices, mínimo. At least. At, okay. At least, at least. At least. Mm -hmm. Como lista, como lista de... de, de, de. Mm -hmm. Pero entonces, at least. Uh, I at need least. to rest three days. Yes. At Sometimes, least. at least. We need like... Two days at least, right? Right? Uh, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sleep all day, relax. Uh, this week was kind of hard for me. For me, esta semana fue complicadita. Okay. So, but uh, we're about to to have um, the weekend. Okay. So, maybe uh, some of you work on Saturdays. Some others don't. But at least we have Sunday, okay? So it is fine because we can have, a, well, a day at least to be with our family, okay? So here we have also Maritza. Hello, Maritza. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Are you in the kitchen, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. So you are the chef tonight. Okay. Yes. Okay. I, uh, Okay, perfect. Um, we're going to start with a simple present information question. This is a very easy topic, un tema bastante fácil, easy, easy, okay. But we're going to have like a reinforcement, a review of how to ask simple present uh, information questions. For example, what do you do? Where do you live? Um, what, uh, where do you work? Mm -hmm. So those are uh, some types of um, information questions in simple present. But we're going to continue working with uh, the past because I need to, to reinforce uh, that topic. Necesito ver ese tema eh, nuevamente para que no nos cueste para nada. Okay. So we start now with this. Hello, Marlon. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How was your Friday? Um, it was uh, terrific. Okay. It was great. Okay, I like to hear that. Yes, you you look with energy. You look. Yes. Yeah. Well, congratulations. <coughs> because Thanks. Luis, Luis, and I, we are tired. Estamos cansados con Luis, but. Me imagino. ¿Cómo sería? I can imagine. I can imagine. I can imagine. I can imagine. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. I, I, I could I could sleep about about one hour in, in the afternoon. Ah, yes. That's why. I feel, I feel reload, reload. Reloaded. 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 Uh -huh. Como un... Uh -huh. Yes. Aunque okay, hay un álbum de Metallica que se llama Reload, pero no me gustó ese muchito. Ah, no, 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 no. Ya no, ya no. Bueno, le voy a ser sincero, yo escuché Load y Reload, pero para mí Metallica hasta, hasta el Black Album. Hasta el Black, yes. Hasta ahí, de ahí lo demás creo yeah. que es la sonora dinamita, no sé qué. Yes, that's another, that's another thing. Of course, that's it. Of course. Okay, and here we have also... Carmen, hello, Carmencita. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How are you doing? Mm, not bad. So not bad. I know that you're uh, having like a difficult situation, but okay. We're going to be like focused on the class. Okay. And we're going to be distracted. Nos vamos a distraer un poco. Okay, Carmencita. Um, the first thing that I want to tell you is that get is one of the most confusing verbs. Es uno de los verbos más, que más confunden, get. Because we can use it, es como, it's like la vieja confiable. Okay? For example, um, one word that we use a lot in Spanish is volado. Okay? 
pasame ese volado, aquel volado, ok, we don't uh, give details when we use volado, for example. Pasame aquel volado, te acuerdas de aquel volado que te mira, hay aquel, aquel volado que me había expresado. So, volado is like a word, like a comodín, right? So, get it a similar way. Obviously, get no significa volado, ok? Get eh, significa obtener, conseguir. Get, obtener, conseguir. But we can apply this verb in different situations, in different contexts. Okay, so here we have like, we can use like arrive. We can use get to say buy, to say understand, or to receive. These are just some examples how uh, we can use get, but obviously there are more. So here we have uh, arrive, that is llegar. So for instance, we have, uh, Andreita, help me please, they left. They left at 4, uh, 15, 30. Ay, perdón, 30, and get home at, oh. and get home at 5, 15. Ay, 30. Tranquila, <laughs> yes, 5.30, okay. El verbo es eh, el que dice aquí left, es el siguiente. Live es dejar o abandonar o irse. En pasado es left, es un verbo irregular. Pero left también significa izquierda, right? Por ejemplo, right, left. Pero en este caso, they left, ellos se fueron. They left at 4.30. En God, utilizaron get es en presente, en pasado es God. Ok, como Juego de Tronos, Game of Thrones. Ok, so got, so they left at 4.30 and got home at 5.30. Se fueron a las 4.30 y eh, llegaron, ¿verdad? Eh, a las 5.30. So, uh, we're talking about the past. Estamos hablando del pasado en este caso, ok? That's why we're using left and not leave and got in, and instead of get. Ok, bye. Uh, we, uh, I need the help of... Um, Elsa, can you, can you see it? Puede verlo. Uh, I get an, a new phone. I last got, week. I got, mm -hmm. yes. I got a new phone last week. Okay. Yes. I got a new phone last week. Mm -hmm. Compré. Mm -hmm. Puede ser como conseguí, compré a new phone last week. En pasado. Got, got. No get okay. Understand. So we're having here, Luis. Please uh, help me with understand. Didn't get uh, what he said. Did you? Mm -hmm. Aquí me, me, me corté porque es I. Aquí yo fallé. Es I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't. I get. didn't get mm -hmm. what he said. Did you? Okay. Did you? Bien. Entonces aquí dicen la 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 palabra say es en presente y Said, como tener said, said es pasado. Say, decir, ok. I didn't get what he said. No entendí lo que dijo. Did you? ¿Y tú? So, and here we have receive. Maritza, help me, please. Receive. Did you? Did you get my email yesterday? Yes. Uh, did you get my email yesterday? Uh, ¿Recibiste uh, uh, mi email? De hecho, hay una película, there's a movie uh, of Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan that, uh, that is named Got an Email. Uh, entonces, así se llama la película esa, que significa tienes un email, te llegó un email, así se llama la película, that, that's the name. So, got an email. So, got is the past of get, obviously. Okay, so um, here we have, a, uh, like get like arrive, get like buy. Like, get like understand and get like uh, receive, okay? So even you just, you can say, I don't get the idea. Mm. No, no capto, no capto la idea. Creo que ya les había dado una, una de esas frases, right? So, uh, get, that is a very common verb that you're going to find in different conversations, okay? So we're going to continue with the worksheet. Uh, remember that we are talking about uh, Past irregular verbs, past irregular verbs. So uh, today we're going to use, um, let me show you 
what picture I sent you. Les envié una, uh, an image yesterday. That is, it is, okay, let me see. Uh, this one, we're going to use it a lot. Esta la vamos a utilizar bastante. So if you have it uh, in, your, in your phone, you can look for it, pueden buscarla. So 101 irregular past tense verbs, okay? So we're going to match, vamos a unir algunos verbos and definitely the, all the verbs that we're going to use uh, in the worksheet, you can find it in there. Pueden encontrarlos en esa imagen que tienen en WhatsApp, okay? So, um, let's see, well, before we start, we have also, hey, Carito, good evening. Hi, teacher, good evening. How was your Friday? Fine. Okay. More or less. Okay, more or less. Tomorrow to work, yes. right? Yes, all day. Okay, all day. And after, and then after office? Uh, no. no. No, okay. Maybe <laughs> another day. Jonathan, hello, my friend. Good evening. Hello, my friend. Good evening. Oh, how are you doing? Good, fine, excellent. Mm, very good. Very good, okay. Uh, today, uh, did you have like a free day? Yes, I have um four day off wow yes. day more. take yeah. advantage aprovecharlos take advantage the most okay so that's yeah. good to know Thank you. okay i'm happy for you helen good evening good evening teacher hey what about your uniform Donde andaba? Mm -hmm. relax day uh, or where are you going after the class or donde va a ir después Okay, no. it's a secret. It's a secret. Okay, we won't tell anyone. And Manuel, hello, Manuel. Hi there. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay, now are you are you cured? Healed? Yes, curado? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Fine. Okay. okay, um, thanks, Manuel. We're going to match. Vamos a unir. Okay, so I need you to um, tell me what. This is the present uh, tense, um, simple present, the irregular verbs, and this is the past. Okay, this is the past. So we're going to start with Elsa, and then we're going with Carmen. Okay, Elsa? Okay, teacher, eat. Um, eight. Yes, eat and eight. Mm -hmm. Eat, comer. Yes, es como el número ocho se pronuncia este. Eight. Okay, thank you. Carmen, and then we're going with Jonathan. Drive, so yes, drive. Ah, yes, so and draw Jonathan and Luis fly with flu, flu, yes, flu, flu. That's it. Uh, I don't know if you saw Betty La Fea. No sé si vieron alguno de ustedes Betty La Fea. Uh, <laughs> yes, I guess most of you, creo que algunos de ustedes, bien. Ahí salía, there was a designer, a gay designer, that was Hugo Lombardi. Estaba un, 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 un diseñador, que era Hugo, entonces él siempre decía flu, flu. Voló, decía. Entonces, flu es este. Ahí pueden aprender inglés con Betty. So that's it. That's why he said flu. Okay, uh, we're going with who, who? Carmen, right? Ah, uh, uh, no, Luis, Luis, please, and then Maritza. Mm. Yeah. Yes, uh, get, got. Yeah, easy cheesy, right? Easy. Yeah, uh, Maritza and then Helen. Forget, forgot. Yes, forget, forgot. Helen, Carito. Mm -hmm. Go, left. Mm -mm. No. No, go. Uh -huh. <laughs> went. Baby. Yeah, we. Then the amor. Okay, thank you. Went. And Carito, right? And then Marlon. No. New. Yes, good pronunciation. Carito, new. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Marlon, eh, Claudia. Uh, of course. Um, give with game. Yes, give gay. Como decir gay, pero con B al final, gay. Thank you, Marlon. Claudia, and then we're going with Manuel. 
How? Mi gracioso. Okay. Yes, have. Have. Yes. Yes, good, good, Claudia. Who's next? ¿Quién va siguiente? ¿Quién va siguiente? Manuel, Manuel, please. Live. Yes, live, easy, easy, yes. eh? Left, así como el, 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 el ejemplo que les había dicho del get, pero que decía, ok, so to reinforce, we're having more, in, in this case, we start with Carmen, ok, Carmen, please. Sleep, sleep. Mm, slept. Oh, mm -hmm. Slept. Yes, sleep, sleep. Then we go with uh, Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah, your turn. That okay. is, is, is another. Mm -hmm. Swim and swim. Yeah, swim and swim. Thank you. Okay, Maritza and then Elsa. Um, speak, spoke. Yes, yeah, speak, spoke. Okay, Elsa, Luis. Tell, told. You're good with the verbs. Thank you. Luis, Claudia, I think you have uh, good vocabulary related to verbs. Okay, Luis, and then Claudia. Okay, I, I think is take and toot. Take and? Mm -hmm. no, I am not sure, but. Oh, no, go ahead. Yes, I, I guess you're right. Mm -hmm. What's the uh, verb? Toot. Yeah, took. Yes. Toot. Uh -huh. Yeah, perfect. Claudia and then good. Claudia and Helen. Okay. Right. Bro, wrote. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. And Helen and then Andrea. Think. Uh -huh. um, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Room. Okay. Think and. Um, true. Abajo de sleep. No, is yes. Tot, tot. Así, tot, tot, tot. Okay, good. Andrea and Marlon. Is teach and talk. Okay. Teach. Teach and talk. 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 Yes, Marlon. Um. Uh, with sun. <laughs> yeah, the easiest. Okay, and the last one is going to be for Manuel. Stand mm -hmm. stood. Yes, stand stood. Yes, I guess you have a good memory. Al final vamos a hacer un, un jueguito sencillo de verbos. Creo que le va a ir super bien. Okay, and uh, before that, we have this simple, past simple, irregular verbs, but we're going to use it later. Después lo vamos a utilizar, okay? Uh, meanwhile, uh, what's the saddest moment in your life? But first, I need to check the attendance list. And the first person to participate um, is going to be Andrea, yes? Okay, just give me a second. Uh, meanwhile, I'm checking the tendencies, okay? So, but prepare. Mm, Ana Mercedes, hello. No. Andrea, hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, Carmen. Present. Good. Claudia. Present. Nice. Carolina. Present. Present. Thank you. Relax. relax. <laughs> Maritza. Present. Good. Christian Alberto, are you there? No, there. Uh, Diana, no yet. Diego, no Diego, I'm sorry for him. Edgar, no. Um, Elsa, hello. Hey, teacher, hello. Thank you, thank you very much. Helen. Present, teacher. Good one. Jonathan. Present. Good, Kevin. No, Kevin. Luis. Hi. Hello, Manuel. I'm here. You're there. Marlon. 
present. No. And Susie, I don't know, Susie is there? No, I guess not. Okay, what's the saddest moment in your life? I know that yesterday we were talking about funniest, the funniest memory. And before that, we were talking about the most... What, dangerous. Who? The most dangerous, yes, the most dangerous uh, memory mm -hmm, or moment or situation in your life. Now we're going to talk about sad, sad moments. I'm so sorry for you, but it is important to explore, to express uh, some things. Um, it is good. And that's another way to know each other. Okay, Andreita, showtime. Okay. The saddest moment uh, I have ever had in my life was when my mother died. It was very hard. Your mom, oh, I'm so sorry. So she passed away. And for this, you remember that there are some euphemisms, algunos euphemismos. Mm -hmm. Passed away, ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Passed away significa también pasó a mejor vida. You can say she died mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. she passed, conté, passed away. Mm -hmm. Okay, but um, how much time? In, in December, uh, she, you know, she turns two years. Ah, she turns two years. Two years. Uh, it, it was recent. The recent, yes. Andreita. Yes. Yes. I, I, I know that it is really hard and you miss her a lot, right? Yes. Okay. So, well, you're a strong woman. I, I admire you. They admire bastante. So. And yes, let's keep on. I guess again. And remember that we are like columns in our family. Somos columnas en nuestra familia. So that's okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, Andreita, for sharing that. Okay, what about if we we'll listen to Maritza? Are you ready? Yes. Please. Um, the saddest moment. In, excuse me. The saddest moment in my life was when my mom died. Seven years ago. Ah, seven years ago. Okay. Even, yeah, seven years. The, that's, well, that's a big quantity of time. But I know that you feel like it, it is recent. También lo siento como medio reciente, right? Because seven years, yes. they pass quickly. But sometimes we have memories. So that is, that is. Um, uh, Maritza, how old was your mom when she passed away? Uh, 83. 83. Yes. Well, well, she lived uh, like a kind of long life if you. Mm -hmm. well, okay, 83. But, uh, she lived with me. Ah, she lived with you. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. so that's why you missed her a lot. Por eso, mm -hmm. extraña, right? When, when mm -hmm. we live with that person and they passed away, we, uh, well, that, 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 that's hurtful. Duele. Mm -hmm. a little bit more. Okay. That's it. Uh, Andreita, how old was your mommy when she passed away? Um, 73. 73? Yes. Andreita, how do you have siblings? Right? <laughs> yes. Uh, how many siblings do you have? Um, two boys and one girl. You are the baby of the family. Yes. Ah, that's why. <laughs> okay, okay, yes, because seventy-three. It's like, um, yes, yeah, she she was like elder. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Andreita. Um, what about if we listen to Marlon and then Jonathan? Of course, uh, I think uh, the saddest the saddest moment in my life uh, was when my wife lost our, our first children. Ah, child, a baby. Child, yes. Okay. And how how many months uh, did the baby have? Or um, weeks? I, 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 no, no, no. I think he, he, he was about six months. Wow, it was kind mm -hmm. of big, right? Yes. Well, um, yes. Uh, how, it, it was in uh, how long? It, it's please. about um, I think fif uh, fifteen years ago. Fifteen. 
Yes. So that baby now would be 15. 15 years old. Yes. And the baby was a boy or a girl. Was a, was a boy. Well, uh, would uh, maybe he would be the, 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 the oldest. Era el mayor. Sería yes. el mayor. Yes. Wow, 15. Okay. Well, I'm he, sorry. He, he, he will be the, the older. The, okay. Well, thank you for sharing that, man. I, I know that, that was difficult, right? <laughs> That's, yes, but uh, remember, uh, um, because uh, I think it's harder uh, when when you when you see see they or see them uh, rise and see them grow, it's harder. Mm, yes, it's harder. Uh, in 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 that cases, it's it's hard, but you can you, you can, can understand. Carry on, you can uh, uh, keep. Keep on, keep on living, mm -hmm. uh, but it is it it, it it it's hard. It, yes, harder mm -hmm. when they, but, they they are older or they have like two years, one year, or no, yes, ten yes, years. Yes. It's it's harder. Yes. So it, uh, always it lost a child. Uh, it's hard too. Okay, but uh, we, you can keep on. You can continue. Carry, carry on. Carry on. Continue. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Carry on like Angra song, right? Okay. Yes. Uh, carry on a wayward song. Like yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect. Jonathan, your turn, and then we're going with Elsa. Okay. Um, the saddest moment of my life was when I say goodbye to my family to go to the USA. Okay. You went to USA or your family? No, me. Really. And how much time did you spend in the USA? In 2012. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, that, that's kind of, uh, that, well, it hurts, duele. So uh, that's why you live alone, right? Or you live with, uh, with yes. some relatives? Some relatives. Okay. And how much time do you consider uh, it took you to get used to, para acostumbrarte, how much time, to be alone, one year, two years? No te acostumbras, la verdad. No, you don't get... Siempre, yeah, it's very difficult, yeah. it's okay. very hard. You miss your family, okay, every yeah. time, okay. Well, congratulations, because uh, you are independent, but um, we always need the family, okay, to be with us. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Very good. Elsa, are you ready? Yes, I said. Please, go ahead. <clears throat> um, when I have had a heart attack, mm -hmm. my heart stopped beating. Um, if I got die, they um, were able to save my life. Okay. And that was... Uh, 10 years ago, five years ago? Um, no, uh, 30. When you were 30, cuando tenés 30. Yes. Okay. And uh, were you working? So, estás trabajando? Were you at home? Yes, yes. My life is very. This is uh, stressful. No, so we baja. Yes, ah, highs and lows. It has highs okay. and lows. Okay, yes. I, days, I have days, good I days. Good days and bad days. Wow. Okay, that's it. Hey, but, did, uh, please. I thank every day for my life. Okay, and Elsa, did you go to the hospital, right? Or the yeah, ambulance yeah. to get there, okay. So, no, perdón, Karin, en español. Cuando yo este, me dio el ataque, ya estaba en el hospital. Gracias a Dios, vea. Entonces ahí fue que... Me revivieron y todo. Okay, Así so como now, las películas. Wow, you have, you have another opportunity to live. Yes, yes. And so you have like, a, a, there, are, there is a one reason or there are reasons why you keep on living. Esa, esa era mi pregunta para Dios. Mm. Pero como no pude estar conectada. Okay, so the question mm. is why, mm -hmm, why do I have another opportunity to live? Mm -hmm. Maybe there is a reason. I consider that there is a reason. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. It's a very hard situation, but you yes. still live with us, okay? 
Thanks for sharing, Elsa. Perfect. Okay. And we're going with Carmen. Are you ready, Carmen? Yes, teacher. Please, come and see. Mm, yesterday, yesterday and now, it was a very sad moment for the deed of my stepfather, the father of my little brother uh, from the COVID. Um, yes, yes, yes. You told me that, that he passed away because of the COVID. And it, uh, how old uh, was he? Uh, tw no, uh, 50 years old. 50? Yeah. He was very young, so COVID. Yes. Yes, 50. And uh, he uh, was your step, uh, no, your, yes, your stepfather, right? Padrastro. Yes. Okay. And I guess you love him so much. Eh, la verdad, no tenía tanto yo el contacto ya con él, pero amo a mi hermanito y, y pues so lo apoyamos y fue muy duro. Sentiste eso también. That's why. Y como un paréntesis, cuídense un montón porque eh, se complicó súper rápido. Eh, se, lleva, se lo llevaron al hospital y tenían que tener un traslado y los hospitales no tienen cupo. Entonces, nos tocó luchar para lograr un cupo en el Hospital del de Salvador y lo logramos, pero, pero su nivel de, de, ¿cómo se llama eso? De saturación, ¿no? uh -huh. lo del de oxígeno ya estaba bien bajo y, y no se pudo hacer el traslado. Wow, that, that's really sad. Entonces, uh -huh. está complicado el sistema de salud y, y el virus es, está complicado también. Yes, um... Escuchado, I have heard that recently there are a lot of cases, hay bastantes casos y es un incremento. Justo uh, estábamos ya en esta actividad cuando recibí una llamada porque también estamos con unas pruebas en la oficina uh -huh. y la licenciada de salud me dice, perdón, ni que le hable tan tarde, pero es, hemos estado muy ocupados, demasiado ocupados. Eso está terrible, me dijo. Uh -huh. yes. Y por eso hablaba hasta esta hora, ¿verdad? Pero... Sí, está complicado. Okay, Carmen, I think it is getting worse. Se está poniendo peor. Uh, one of my uh, colleagues is, is, has COVID right now. So she's not that good uh, related to the health. No está tan bien que se diga. So as Carmen said, please take care of yourself. Don't forget to keep distance, right? Nosotros somos... Somos los latinos y los salvadoreños somos como que bien unidos, ¿verdad? Bien afectivos, but health is priority. La salud es prioridad. Yeah. Now, in the, eh, ¿cómo se dice? El cementerio. The cemetery. The cemetery is eh, four case the COVID now. Wow. In the moment of the, el, el entierro del. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. The burial, the burial. Mm -hmm. Okay. And remember that when we went in, in, in we were close in quarantine, when we were in it was really hard that the burial were not at, like the traditional. Los, eh, los sepelios no, no fueron tradicionales. And there were not, there, there wasn't time okay, to share with the family, so please take care. Please no, take the care. burial not uh, traditional not now. Traditional now. No. So, well, uh, please take care, okay, and, and keep on, keep on uh, working, and we'll pay attention to all the instructions. Thank you, Carmen. Okay, um, we have this uh, conversation, please. I'm going to give you like 10 seconds. Okay, eight seconds. Okay, the first person is going to be Luis, and then we go with Helen. Okay, Luis, tell me, what did you saw? Hey, hello. Uh, my name is Mr. Tom, and Miss, Mr. Take, I don't know, I I don't remember, honestly. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, I, it's, no, it's, the problem. it's only for two, min two seconds, I don't know. Yes, okay, that, that, that's fine. Helen and Claudia. Here's over there, do. Okay. 
Eh, Claudia and Andrea. Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome, nice to meet you. Okay. Fine, fine. Andrea, and we go with Carito. Introduce the staff. Mm -hmm. Introduce the staff. Very good. Carito, Emanuel. Okay. No sé si se pronuncia así, pero es purchase. 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 Oh, purchase. Okay. Thank you. Christian, uh, Manuela and Christian. Uh, what, you do, what you do, parece que. Mm, what do you do? Thank you. And Christian. Uh, what does the girls over? Okay, yes. What does the girl over there? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. So we have um, a conversation between Miss Tate and Mr. Young. Miss uh, significa señorita, right? So here we have, hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. Okay, I will need you to help me. Uh, Jonathan, please, uh, you're going to be Mr. Young. And for Mr. Tate, we're having Carmen. Okay, Carmen. All the conversation. Yes, please, all the conversation. Okay. Carmen, you start. Okay. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Yes, I am. I'm Mrs. Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss. Miss Tate, this is Lord. Um, mm -hmm. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Okay, Leo. I'm going to be. Oh no, Leo is going to be Marlon. Okay, Marlon. Nice to meet. You. Mm. Nice to meet you. I'm. I'm in charge of the kitchen stuff. Great. Oh, Mr. Young, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Oh, the purchases. 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 Yes. Very good pronunciation, my friend. So I need you to take a look to this. Cuando decimos, um, this is Mario, this is Leo. It is a form, es una forma para decir, él es Mario, él es Leo, o I can say this is Andrea, pero with you, si lo traducimos literalmente sería este es Mario, este es Andrea. Y en español, en español, it sounds like very rude, sonaría como bien pesado, pero uno puede decir, esta es Claudia, como esta, se escucha bien despectivo, so we say, ella es Claudia. But in English, we use this. Utilizamos eso. It significa el es Mario. Even when you're talking by phone, you can say, uh, for example, I'm talking to Elsa. Estoy hablando a Elsa. You can say, hello, Elsa. Uh, this is Josué speaking. Entonces yo diría, hola, eh, soy Josué, ¿verdad? Puedo decir, este es Josué, pero me refiero a mí. So, this is Mario. This is Leo. Ya vamos a hacer una actividad con respecto a eso, okay? So, um, uh, here we have, do we have questions? In church, in church, uh, over there, over there is por ahí, okay? What does the girl over there do? ¿Qué hace la chica que está por ahí? Okay? Uh, imagine uh, there are some people moving some boxes, están moviendo cajas, and they ask to Luis, for example, Luis, where can I uh, left or where, where can I put these boxes? ¿Dónde puedo poner esas cajas? And Luis can say, okay, over there, next to the refrigerator, next to the sofa, okay? Entonces, por ahí, para la parte del sofá. Okay, so over there, over there significa por ahí o por allí. Both, okay. Over there. Porque when the next, next time you listen to that, uh, don't get confused, okay. Purchases, compras, purchases, purchases. Purchase significa comprar. It's a synonym, a synonym for buy, okay, to buy. Es un sinónimo, como para decir buy. Teacher, ¿y cómo, se, se, cómo diría esa última de Mr. John? Completa. Eh, she's Nisa. Eh, ella es Nisa y está encargada de las compras. She's in charge of. Esta frase la vamos a utilizar en una, una actividad. Y yo y el chair como cargar. No, in charge of. Eh, a ah, cargo okay. de. Significa a cargo de. Mm. Uh -huh. For example, I am in charge of teaching English. You are in charge of projects, for example. Okay. Uh, Andrea is in charge of 
providing some products. So that's like uh, the function you do. La función que tú haces, más bien en que, de qué estás encargado, okay? So uh, we're going to have a, a short conversation and we're going to be in groups of three, okay? So I need you to have a screenshot of this. And we're going to practice, remember to switch. Recuerden intercambiar. You have to switch. You can say, Miss State, Mr. Young, even Leo says a letter. Leo dice poco. But uh, that's, that's why you have to interchange all the parts. Okay, so um, we're going to set in groups. Okay, let's do it. Nice, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm in change uh, of the kitchen staff. Uh, great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Miss Nisa. She's chair of cursing. <laughs> Yeah. Great, uh, Mr. John. What does the girl over there do? 
cheese, cheese in Lisa, cheese in Cheryl, eh, or for chases. For chases. Okay, hoy yo soy Mr. John. Mr. Day. Hello, yes. good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. Hoy yo Miss Day. Okay. Yo voy a hacer los pedacitos pequeñitos. Okay. Okay, Hello, John. good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello there, guys. Hello, Hello teacher. Is it finished? Eh, el último. Okay. Carmen, Claudia. Yeah. Sí. No sé por qué no me escucho. <laughs> Teacher, nosotros sí la escuchamos. Mm -hmm. Sí, nosotros sí. You can hear me. Tú yes. me puedes escuchar, pero yes. I can hear you. Yes. 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 Just... <laughs> ok, hello. Ok, I'll see, you, I'll see you in a moment. Te veo un momento. Ok. Voy a ser Mr. State. Uh, hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I am Mr. Tate. I am the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Mr. Tate. Let me introduce.
Okay, guys, so we're going to continue with this. And now that we have this conversation, here we have this, okay. Um, it's going to help me in this case. Andrea, okay, Andrea, complete the questions and then write the answers. Here we have one, two, three. Remember that we were talking of Mario and Leo and Nisa, okay? I need you to pick one of these questions, Andrea, and let's complete it. Okay. Uh, number one. Number one. What do you do? No. Quiero ver otra vez. We, we were talking about Mario. Someone else over Mario. Ah, uh, uh, she's the branch manager. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, pero ¿cómo sería la pregunta? What, uh, the, what? Answer, the answer is correct. Uh -huh. He's the branch manager. But the question, what does Mario? Vaya, vamos a, a basarnos en esta. What do you do? What do you do? Aquí mira, what does the girl over there do? Mm -hmm. Tu corazón te dice que es what? What do you do? No. No, what, I teacher. What does Mario do? <laughs> what does Mario do? Okay, and the answer is? Es que no veo, teacher, la No, eh, ya me había dicho la respuesta. Vaya, aquí. ajá. She, he is the branch manager. Thank you, Andreita. Está enamorado. <laughs> Jonathan, pick one, two or three. Uh, number two. Number two, okay. What does you do, Leo? Ah, vaya, en este caso sería diferente, fíjate. Porque como aquí hay una coma... Esta pregunta está bien tricky, mira, está bien tramposa. Sería, what do you do, Leo? Ah, bueno, ah, le, le puse el das. Sí, sí, no, pero si no tuviese la coma, sí, eh, podría mm. utilizar el das. Pero igual, ah, what do you do, Leo? Ajá, uh -huh. what does Leo do? ¿Qué hace Leo? The branch manager. Yeah, mm, the branch manager is Mario. Uh... Ajá, vamos a ver. No, Leo es el branch manager, no. No. Look, 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 Leo. Nice, nice to meet ah, you. Sí. I'm. Uh -huh. mm. In church. Él está a cargo de la, de, dice in charge of the kitchen staff. Yes, that's it. Kitchen staff. Perfect. Okay, and Luis, can you help me please, Luis, number three with Nisa? Nisa. Okay. Uh, what? Do what does mm -hmm. Nisa do? Uh -huh. What does Nisa do? Uh, she is in char charger of purchases. 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 Yes. yes, that's good. So she's in church. 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 Mm -hmm. Church. That's it. She is in charge of purchases. Yes, the purchases. Okay, good. Fine. Thanks, my friends. So now we have listening, okay? And we have another conversation, but this conversation, it's quite different in comparison to the yesterday, the one that we heard yesterday. So I need you to uh, take some notes and identify vocabulary or the main message or point of the conversation. Okay, let's listen. Hi, this is John. Thanks for calling. I'm not here at the moment, so please leave a message and I'll call you back. Hi, John. This is Maria Silva, calling from Old Town Toys. Your colleague Alex gave me your phone number. She said you can hold me. 
I need some information on your new product. Could you please call me when you are back in the office? My phone number is 0208-655-7621. Also, can you please email me your new brochure and information about your prices? My email address is marina, that's M-A-R-I-N-A -A dot Silva. That's I-L-V-A at O-L-D-D-I-M-E hyphen toys.com. Thanks a lot. I look forward to hearing from you. Okay, I'm sorry. Eh, siento que se escucharon un par de gallos ahí. Después parece que lo van a hacer en chicha, me cuento. Okay. So uh, we're going to listen again. Vamos a escuchar de nuevo. If you notice, uh, it is a very brief conversation. Well, not just, not, it's not a conversation at all, but let's listen again. Hi, this is John. Thanks for calling. I'm not here at the moment. So please leave a message and I'll call you back. Hi, John. This is Maria Silva calling from All Time Toys. Your colleague Alex gave me your phone number. She said you can help me. I need some information on your new product. Could you please call me when you are back in the office? My phone number is 0208-655-7621. Also, can you please email me your new brochure and information about your prices? My email address is marina, that's M-A-R-I-N-A -A dot Silva. That's I-L-V-A at O-L-D-T-I-M-E hyphen touch dot com. Thanks a lot. I look forward to hearing from you. Okay. So um, let's ask to some of you. Marlon and then Claudia and then Christian. <laughs> Of course, uh, um, John is in, in the office and, and Maria uh, is calling the, yep. calling him. She's calling. And, and the message of the, la contestadora de, de, mm -hmm. is, uh, le dice que le deje su mensaje. Um, y yes. le deja el mensaje, Lepo, que message. le llame, le deja el número de teléfono, le deja el correo electrónico, le dice que le mande su brochure, quiere ver los precios, nuevos productos, entre otros. Okay, thank you. Yeah, ya me di cuenta que me te disparaste. Okay, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Marlon. Claudia, mm -hmm. what words? ¿Qué palabras escuchaste? Frases? Mm -hmm. I say new products, my cell phone number, my address is. Hi, this, this is John. Mm -hmm. Hi, John. This is Mari, Maria. Information address. Thank a lot. Okay, good. Thank you. Christian and Manuel. Uh, this is John. Uh, phone number calling information. That Silva. Uh, look. Okay, perfect. Manuel and Jonathan. Manuel, are you there? Sí, eh, solo una, una, una palabra, recuerdo ahí. Estaba anotando el número para hablarle, para ver qué decía. Pero a saber a quién, Manuel. Ok. <risa> hey, no, no, mentira, no, bro. No, bro, no, no. No, 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 no se le gana, Matiche. No, mentira, bro. <risa> ok, bueno, uh, tell me, ajá, what, what word? One word, una palabra. For mi number phone is. Mm -hmm. ah, tell me, anotaste alguno, algún número? Zero, y ya no me acuerdo los otros. <laughs> okay, starts with zero. That's uh, very important information. Thank you, Manuel. Good. And uh, we're going with Jonathan and then Maritza. Okay, Jonathan. Hi, this is John. Thank you for calling. Hi, John. This is Maria. Y luego le dijo, my email address is uh, Marina dot zero no sé qué y ahí le dijo el phone number y solo anoté el zero two zero eight y hasta ahí me quedé okay zero two zero eight okay good 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 beginning okay Maritza and Andrea okay 
phone numbers uh, was seven six two one. The last number. The last number. The last four mm -hmm. numbers seven six two one. Mm -hmm. Ya mm -hmm. poco poco vamos siendo. Thank you. Thanks a lot and prices products. Good, Andrea Carito. Thank you, Marisa. Andrea Carito. Okay. Hi, this is John. Uh, leave me. Leave the message, Maria Silva, uh, your colleague Alex gave me your phone number, uh, 02086557521. And thanks a lot. Un numerito uno, one number, oh, yes. casi. Okay, good. Eh, casi, Andrea, pero está bastante bien. Good. Carito, ¿qué me comenta de la vida? Cuénteme, cuénteme. Okay. Uh, hello, this is John. Thank you for calling. I am not sure at the moment. Uh, hello, Maria. Calling for help in new products. Y el número de teléfono is 02086562. Thank you. Okay. Good. And the last person. Then, then we're going to listen. Luis, okay, Luis, tell me what did you listen? Okay, uh, I think the cell phone number is 02086557895. I think I don't know. Maybe... Casi, mira, te ves si le pone más sabor de lo de, okay, almost, almost, two numbers, two, the last numbers, okay. Well, or we're 21. going to. Yeah, 21, yes, yes. But uh, Luis, nueve me dice, Luis, ya veo, okay. Okay, but we're going to, to, to see and listen. And um, it is good to know and to identify that this is a short conversation, but mainly it is a call. And the answer machine says, oh, thank you for calling, blah, blah, blah. So leave a message, message. Massage es masaje. Message es mensaje, okay? Ya, cuidado. So, massage, massage, message, number. Okay. So, I'm going to present um, the, the script, el diálogo. And you're going to find that there are a lot of common words. Muchas palabras comunes. Okay. Let's listen. Hi, this is John. Thanks for calling. I'm not here at the moment, so please leave a message and I'll call you back. Hi, John. This is Maria Silva, calling from All Time Toys. Your colleague, Alex, gave me your phone number. She said you can help me. I need some information on your new product. Could you please call me when you are back in the office? My phone number is 0208-655-7621. Also, can you please email me your new brochure and information about your prices? My email address is Marina, that's M-A-R-I-N-A, -A, that's Silva, S-I-L-V-A, at O-L-D-T-I-M-E hyphen toys.com. Thanks a lot. I look forward to hearing from you. Okay, uh, can you notice? Solo un par de detalles, ¿verdad? Que la chica me dijo say y aquí se dice said. Ok, said, said. And también aquí ella dijo Maria, no Marina. Mm -hmm. So that's a mistake. Es un error ahí de, 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 de la pronunciación. Por eso es que alguien de ustedes me dijo Maria. Y yo, Maria. Uh -huh. Ok. So that's it. Uh, can you notice? Uh, esto es bien común. When you work with a call center, you say, oh, uh, good morning, thanks for calling FedEx. Uh, this is Josue speaking. How can I help you? Es como la vieja confiable que siempre se dice. And they start uh, like a short conversation. Um, I guess next week we're having like a script. Vamos a tener un script para atender llamadas, okay? Eh, tengo un par de scripts, diálogos, para que sepan cuáles son los pasos para atender una llamada. Creo que sería bastante productivo how to deal with sales, como lidiar con unas ventas, how to deal with some reservations. No estaría de más, right? Okay. So, uh, thanks for, for paying attention. I can notice that you identify a lot of words. 
but step by step we're going to have a different dialogues and a little bit more complicated, un poquito más complicado, porque eso está demasiado easy peasy, ¿verdad? Demasiado está. Okay, so um, we, we're going with this activity. 50 minutes and we finish. 50 minutes y terminamos. Okay, look at the words in bold. Bold significa en negrito. Okay, in bold and complete the statement in the box. Okay, I need you to pronounce some of these uh, sentences. Carmen, you start with number one and then Helen with number two. Okay, easy. What do you do? Thank you, Helen. Um, Maritza. What department do, do you Super. supervise? Okay. Supervise. Yes, Maritza Manuel. What branch does she manage? Okay, bien, bien. Christian and Manuel, right? O Manuel había dicho. Where, oh, cuál? Yeah, three. And four, four, four. Where? Where does your company manu manufacture? Manufacture, yes. Manuel, please. And after uh, Manuel, uh, we're having Elsa. What unit do you oversee? Oversee, yes. And here we have Elsa. Who do you report to? Okay. Report to. Yes. Uh, who do you report to? Okay, so uh, we have supervise, y también tenemos oversee, que son synonyms. Okay, oversee también significa, it means supervise as well, so oversee. So what department do you oversee? You can say, or what unit do you supervise? It's uh, the same, okay? So uh, he says, well, it says, to ask information questions in simple present tense, begin with a, uh, W H phrase, o sea que todos van a comenzar todas esas con W H. What, where, when, who, and then we have uh, the grammar structure, okay? Eh, eso nada más la, la, la base gramática. But this is quite simple, demasiado simple, eso, okay? De hecho esto lo vimos el módulo pasado, right? So write the questions that correspond to the answers that follow. Use the verbs in parentheses. Okay, so here we have manage, manage, supervise, oversee, report to, report, no report, report to, manufacture, do. Okay, so uh, Claudia, could you help me reading number one, the question and the answer, please? What department? What department does Marta manage? Manage. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Marta manages. Marta manages the sales department. Sales department. Yes. Sales yes. department. Okay. And here we have number two. We're going to need Marlon's help. Or from two to six. Pick one. Of course. Um, um, number three. Okay, let's go with number three. What? Uh, <clears throat> and what? What? What branch does Claudio oversees? Oversee? Yes. 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 What branch? Mm -hmm. Claudio. Does Claudio oversee? Oversee, exacto, yes. Uh -huh. Aquí tiene overseas porque es de tercera persona, pero como es pregunta, ok, good, Marlon. El, el, el das hace el, el, el. Yes. Ok. Sí, en ya... Claudio oversees the branch in Ilopango. Perfect, my friend. Eh, eh, tú, mire, seguí mi corazón. Eso, es que ese, that, that's the, the answer, es la respuesta a todos tus problemas. Thanks, Marlon. <laughs> Carmen Sierra. And then, uh, Manuel. Number two. Number two. What department do you super, supervise? Yes, I supervise. I supervise the maintenance, maintenance department. Maintenance department. Department. Excellent, Carmen. Manuel, and then we're going with Luis. Uh, number six. 
What does uh, what does do? Mm -hmm. That what, do no. What does what does Douglas or do? Yes. What does Douglas do? Mm -hmm. uh, Douglas trains the new stuff. Yes. Douglas trains the new stuff. Okay. And uh, Luis and Jonathan. I think a uh, number five. Okay, let's go with number uh, five. Okay. Uh, what plant manufacturing? What what plant does manufacture we? No, we manufacture. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Eh, we sería, manufacture sería where. Where. Como, como tenemos la palabra in, ¿verdad? In. Que se dice. Ajá, sería where. Where. Do you where where do you plant? Where do you manufacture? Yes, manufacture, manufacture. Manufacture. Uh -huh. We manufacture. In the Santa Ana plant. Yes. Okay. Um and Jonathan, let's go with number four. Um who report to assembler? Um who two. Report to assembler too. Uh -huh. Sí, ahí solo faltaría el do. Who do? Mm -hmm. Who do? Uh, mm -hmm. Who do report to assembler too? And the answer? Uh, the assembler report to the supervisor. Okay, excelente. Solo le falta el you. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, no. Who do? Mm -hmm. uh, the assemblers report to. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Now we go with this. Vamos a hacer algo bien sencillo. No se va a tardar más de dos minutos. You're going to introduce two of your uh, partners. I, I mean, your colleagues. Dos de sus compañeros uh, from work. So you can say, hi. I want to introduce two. Tienen que decir. Eh, hola, quiero introducirles. Dos. In, perdón, introducirles, presentarles. Introduce, presentar. I want to introduce two. Puede decir, two new employees, two colleagues, two partners or two members of the team. Okay. Después de decir esto, this is, y dicen el nombre. This is Mario. He is, y pueden decir cuál es su ocupación o pueden decir he is in charge of. Y después el siguiente, this, y para ponerle más sabor, and this is, yes. okay, easy. But I need you to do it fluent. Necesito que lo, lo diga con fluidez. Hi, I want to introduce two new colleagues. This is Mario. He's in charge of blah, blah, blah. And this is... So, in that way. Okay? And I'm going to give you one minute to do it. Le voy a dar un minuto ahorita para que lo haga. I know you're going to do it quickly. If you don't remember any name or you don't want to use real name, you can invent. Okay? Pueden inventar. No problem. That's not a problem. Okay, um, anybody ready? I guess some of you are finished, right? So um, let's listen to... Uh, Maritza, are you ready? Yes. Okay. I think... Okay, I think... go ahead. And then Luis, please. Hi, I want to introduce a new partner. This is Jose, he is in charge of contabilism. Okay. 
And, uh, and the other, no hiciste el, el otro. No. Only Son one. dos. Bye. Uh, okay, that's fine. Thank you, Maritza. We're going with Luis and then Marlon. Okay. Uh, hi, I want to introduce the news a uh, member of the of our team. Uh, this is Rodrigo. He is the charger charger charge of the house cleaner. And she's Daniela. She's uh, the charger of the foot. Yeah, she's in church. In she church. is in church. She foot is in charge of, of the foot. Of okay. foot. Okay. Be good with Daniela. Portate bien con Daniela because she's in charge of the foot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, um, she is sleeping right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good, good for you. Okay, Marlon and Carmen. Of course. Hi. I want to introduce two uh, new employees. Um, this is Jose. He is in charge of the stainless steel area in the production department. And this is Christian. Uh, he's part of the sales department. Good one. Thank you. Carmen, Andrea. Hi, I want to introduce two colleagues. This is Lola. He is the director of communication. And this is Carlos. Uh, he is in chair, church, the benefits. Okay, perfect. Andrea Carito. Hi, I want to introduce two new colleagues. This is Nicole. She is in chair in charge of quality department. And this is Daniel. He is in charge of maintenance department. Definitely good. Carito and then Helen. Hi, I want to introduce two new members of team. This is Danny. He is in the chair of the online shopping. And this is Jimmy. He is in the chair of the drink. Okay, good. And Helen and Claudia. Hi, Claudia is This is Mercy and Chair of Portion. This is Ada and Chair of Human Resources. Resources, Human Resources. Y si estaban a cargo de las de las compras a purchases, purchases. Thank you. Eh, Claudia and Manuel. Hi, I want to introduce two new colleagues. This is Luis. He is content assistant. And this is Maria. She is secretary. Okay. Remember, this is. Okay. This is. This is. Yes. Okay. That's the correct pronunciation. Thank you. Manuel and then Jonathan. Hi, I want to introduce two new members of our team. This is Joel. He is in charge of drive the truck. Uh, this is Allison. She is in charge of uh, no sé cómo se bodega. Warehouse. Warehouse. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Jonathan, and then Elsa. I want to introduce to new colleagues. This is Luis. He is in charge of sales, and this is Manuel. And he's in charge to of shopping. Okay, good. Thanks. Luis and Jonathan, you work together. No. No, not at all. Nada que ver. No. Ay, I live in Sudamérica. Ah, I said, they're tirando. Okay, good. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Okay, it's good to know. What's the name of this song? So the person in charge of this uh, song this time is. Uh, Christian, right, Christian? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, Christian, don't show the name and don't show the the weather, the band or the singer. Okay? Then show us. Muéstranos. No, I have to compartir otra cosa, Christian. Please be careful. Be careful. No, 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 no. Va a ser como Andreita, que. Madre. Conversaciones peligrosas. Yes, yes. No, Andrei. no recordemos, teacher. Ah, vaya, ok, ok, está en el pasado. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, could you could you read it, please, Christian? And your skin. Oh yeah, your skin and bones and door door in uh, to some something beautiful. Do you know? For you, I bleed myself dry. For you, I bleed myself dry. It's true. Look how they shape for you. Mm -hmm. uh, look how they shape for you. Look how they shape uh -huh. for you. <laughs> I think I, I recognize. Okay, relax, Lose please. Out oh. the shine for you and all the things that you do. You do. Okay, Luis. Uh, I guess Luis has the, the, the name. Uh, right? Yellow and the group, I, I think, is Coldplay. I don't remember. Yes, yes. Yellow yes. from Coldplay, uh -huh. right? Hasta ahí les había puesto la pista en la esquina. <laughs> hey, there, dog. It's a... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Christian. Thank you. I'm sorry, it's easy. <laughs> yes, yes. That's it. It's a very common and famous song. One of the, the well, that was very common. I guess it, it is from 1999 song. I guess. I guess. Okay. Thank you. And for tomorrow, for tomorrow, for, no, for Monday. Yes, I put on Okay, let me see who is going to be in charge of the song. Thank you, Christian. Diana, but Diana is not here. So, Andrea, please uh, tell her. I'm going to text her. I will escribe. it. But anyway, you, you, you tell her. Okay? Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay, so what's the name of this song? It's Yellow from Cold Place. A very romantic song. Okay. And now here we have what's the saddest moment in your life? And to keep on this question, we're going to listen to Carito. Okay, Carito, and then Helen. Okay, Carito, tell us your, your saddest moment. Okay, the saddest moment day of my life was when my grandmother died. Your grandmother, okay. How long time ago? Three years ago. Ah, oh, three years is recent. Yes. It's recent. How old was your your grandmom? Sorry. How old was your grandmom? Eighteen three. Eighty three. Yes. Okay. Similar to who said the other Maritza, right? Maritza said eighty two, right? Okay. It. Talking about this, well, uh, Carito, I understand when uh, grandmother passes away because I love so much to my grandma. I love her, and she passed away 14 years ago. No, no, I mean, I mean, no, uh, like seven, seven years ago. 14 is my grandpa, but you missed her. Grandmothers or grandpas uh, are very special in yes. our lives. Yes. Yo Viví toda mi vida con ella. Okay, me too. I, I, I had the same experience. So I felt like my mother was dying. So digo, mi mamá se moría. Okay, so yeah, I, I understand your feeling. Thank es you, Carito. Es un gran dolor. Yes, a big pain yes. in our heart. Okay, talking about the age, I don't know what are your uh, age expectations of life. No sé cuáles son las expectativas de vida. Um, in the past, uh, the, the elder used to live longer, solían vivir más, los ancianitos. Yeah. Now, I don't know if we're going to go to, or we're going to reach to 70s, okay. a ver si llegamos a los 70s, I don't know. No sabemos. No, we don't know. <laughs> hey, Carmencita dice, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no mucho, dice, okay. But, Mire, con este virus, o sea... Todos estamos, a, a, ah, estamos expuestos, yes, expuestos, we're exposed sí. to, yes, 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 but talking about life in general, hablando en general sobre la vida, puede que lleguemos, okay, so thank you Carito for sharing uh, your experience uh, with your uh, grandma, okay, Helen, what about you Helen, and after Helen, we're having Manuel, 
the saddest thing in my life and uh, death of my cousin brother that was shocking. I uh, well the situation that I were go to is that because of the virus, no people are heavy a good time. Okay, I like the word that you used. Shocking. Me gusta esa palabra. That's a big impact in your life. I'm sorry. Uh, where do, did your brother pass away? Yes. Uh, when? Cuando? A uh, year ago. One year ago is really recent. Okay, because of the COVID. Helen. No. Eh, un accidente. Ah, an accident. Well, something that it is not that bad, algo que no está tan mal en accidentes. Well, it, it depends. But sometimes when they die in that moment, okay? So maybe you, you cannot, you're not going to feel like a lot of pain. No vas a sentir mucho dolor. I mean, in that moment, well, yeah. it is better than to be suffering. Es mejor que estar sufriendo. Okay, so that's sí. it. Okay, uh, I'm so sorry, Helen. How old was he? ¿Qué edad tenía? Um, 23. 23. He was a kid. Okay, he was very young. Okay, thank you for sharing, Helen. Okay, okay. well, let's continue. Vamos a continuar. Thank you. Okay, Manuel, and then we're going to listen to Claudia. Emmanuel, please, your turn. Okay, I think Manuel is, is not here. So, Claudia and then Luis. Okay, the saddest day of my life was, was when my brother did. Died. 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 Okay, um, how long? Time ago, hace cuánto? Twenty-two years old. Twenty-two years old. Okay. Thank you. Yes. And uh, how old was he? ¿Qué edad tenía? Uh, eleven years old. Ah, eleven. Ah, yes. I guess you you mentioned that, right? Yes. W one of these. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. One of, of these days. Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember. Thank you for remembering us. Okay, for reminding us. I'm sorry. Thank you, uh, Claudia and Luis. We're going to finish this activity in 27 okay. minutes to finish. Okay. Uh, when I was uh, 19 years or years ago, years ago, years old. Mm -hmm. Old. Okay. Uh, I have an accident in my motorcycle and okay. um, when a dog when i visit the doctor uh, he told me that i call not have children okay mm -hmm. and for me in in this moment i am happy because i i i think uh, i think is not compromise compromise Mm -hmm. And I don't have uh, any problems, but with the time, I want a kid, I want uh, a son. I, I, for me, that is the most more sad moment okay. because I don't understand in this moment the magnitude from the situation. And right now, I think if maybe with a con un tratamiento with a treatment mm -hmm. with a treatment is it eh, possible ya no no not anymore okay ya no en aquel entonces sí okay ahora ya no entonces para mí eso es lo más is okay. the most sad yes. because i i i want or i o sea es mi deseo pero no puedo yes it's your wish Okay, yes. Luis. So when you were 19, you were very young. Yeah, I am very young. And and later uh, inside, entre uh, the archery, uh, la brigada de artillería, yeah. I am, I am, was a soldier. And my life is not important for me in, in this moment. 
but o sea, en realidad en ese momento pensaba que no me importaba. Sí, yes, sí. Yes. Ajá, o sea, no, no tiene importancia. Ahora sí. Ahora okay. lo veo y yo pienso, puchi, que todos tienen un hijo y yo no. Yes. Y that is my sad moment. Ok, that's the saddest uh, moment, saddest in, moment. Your, in, your, in your life. The impact, the impact of that news, de esa noticia, when you listen to, to the doctor said that, and that's part of the side effect, un efecto secundario de, 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 esa, de ese accidente. Well, um, let me say, tell you something. There are a lot of people that they can have kids, but they want them a lot. Ellos como quisieran realmente, pero... And there are a lot of parents, hay muchos padres that they have kids and they don't take care of them. No los cuidan. And that's very ironic. Es muy irónico yeah. eso. Yeah, it's ironic. I, I want uh, with all my heart, but it's complicated. And when you are with, uh, with one woman and she has uh, children, it's not, uh, no es lo mismo. It's not the same. It's part of the complement of life, right? And yeah, but no, no es lo mismo because uh, you don't have the authority. You don't or have, the or the full authority. Yeah, yeah, you don't have the full the authority, and you don't have a opinion when it, when it's important. You don't. Your opinion is not important, and I have. But tenía eh, dos relaciones, mm -hmm. two relationships with with two person different, and she had a uh, children, and it's different and it's complicated because uh, for an example, only one example, uh, la niña se va a reunir con su papá. Ah yes, <laughs> that's it. I know, it's, it's and you feel that like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel and. Um, the important decisions you you don't no pintas nada, o sea, okay no, you are not you feel that you're not a big part of those decisions right yeah that that's your it, point it's complicated uh i i think is the most sad moment yes it's the saddest moment i will tell you something um i grew up with my stepfather and my and my mom yo crecí con, con mi padrastro y mi mamá and I respect him but a lot. So he, I respect him more. I respect more to him than my real father. Lo respeto más a él que a mi propio papá. I, I don't mean that I don't care about my real dad, my biological dad, but depends depends on how the family is uh, built. Cómo se va construyendo la familia. Depende mucho de eso, ¿ok? So there are some fathers that they maybe they don't feel that like they are part of the big decisions in the family, but there are some others that yes they do. Okay, si las en mi caso mi papá, I respect a lot of his words, todas lo que él me dice. So it depends, okay, Luis. So my recommendation for you is that remember there are always some opportunities. Maybe not the ones that you want, but there are. No siempre las oportunidades que nosotros queremos. Pero sí hay otras. There are some alternatives, okay? So keep on doing and keep on trying and let's continue. The life continues, ¿verdad? La vida continúa. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Eh, no dejé de, 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 de pensar when you said that you had two relationships eh, fueron en diferentes momentos, ¿verdad? Porque Marlon yeah, estaba yeah, ahí. Yeah. Es que Marlon, <laughs> ahí lo vi. Okay, okay, good for you. Eh, Luis, so keep on, okay? Hay que continuar. Okay, thanks for sharing that, Luis. Thanks all of you for sharing. I think that's intimate, bastante intimate lo que a veces compartimos uh, because of, but we are using English. We are uh, expressing feelings, emotions, opinions, okay? So thanks, Luis. And we're going to continue 20 minutes and we finish. 20 minutos y terminamos. We're going to make an exercise. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Se trata de lo siguiente. Uh, for this exercise, we're going to use again. Vamos a utilizar de nuevo esta, this image, okay? Be ready with that. So, the exercise is this. Alguien va a comenzar. I know the path of ride. Conozco el pasado de montar. It's road. But I don't know the path of how. Y luego yo digo un nombre. Andrea, por ejemplo. Y Andrea 
viene con esto y va a decir, I know the past of have, is had, but I don't know the past of walk, ah, cualquier verbo, ¿ya? Entonces, la clave es acá, this, this, ok, este lo we're going to use a other color, ok. Entonces, la clave es que aquí vamos a utilizar verbos. ¿ve? Conozco el pasado de montar. Es montaba. Pero no conozco el pasado de tener. Viene Andrea y dice, conozco el pasado de tener. Pero no conozco el pasado de manejar. Por ejemplo. ¿Ok? And that's it. So, we're going to start with Carmen. Vamos a utilizar verbos irregulares. ¿Ok? Remember, irregular verbs. Um, here. Todos estos. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, I know the past of go. It's went. But I don't know the past of give. Entonces Carmencita va a decir, I know the past of give. It's gay. But I don't know the past of shake. Por ejemplo. Ok. So be ready with this list of verbs. Estén listos con esta lista de verbos. Ok. Listo con esta lista. Ok. So mm -hmm. I'm going to present this script, este diálogo para que lo tengan. Ok. Entonces cuando... Carmen termine, también va a decir otro nombre and we're going to continue in a change drill. Vamos a continuar en una cadena. Okay. Carmen Sita. Let's see. I, no, okay. no, 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 Carmen. no, Carmen. I'm going to start. Relax. <laughs> Está emocionada esta mujer. I'm the first. Thing. Uh, yes. Okay. Carmen, <laughs> I know, I know the pass of take is took, but I don't know the pass of tell. Tell. <gasps> Ok, tell. Yo no encuentro. Ah, ya lo encontré. Eh, Carmen, no, <laughs> me va inventando. Ok, okay. I, know. I, I know the past of tell. It's. It's tall. But. But I don't know the past of sleep. To whom? ¿A quién? A uh, Marlon. Sleep. Ah, Marlon. Ok, thanks, uh, Carmen. Uh, I know the past of sleep, it's uh, slept, but I don't know the past of sink. Uh, can you help me, please, Andrea? Okay, good one. I know the past of sink, it's sunk, but I don't know the past of I. Perdón, uh, se me apagó. Paso I. Pass of uh, pay. Um, Luis? Luis? Pay. Pay. Pay, pay, pay. I don't pay. Okay, pay is number. Pay. Look for P. Pay, 50, number 56. 56. Uh, okay, Andrea is a pie. Uh, uh, I know. Paid. No, no, I, Luis. Uh, no. I know the bus. I oh. know the bus of oh, pay. pay. It's paid, paid, paid. But, but I don't know the bus, the pass of a uh, ground. Uh, grow, 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 grow. Uh -huh. to, to whom, a quien? A little moment, uh, Maritza. Okay, Maritza. Number 37. Okay. 37, okay. 37. Um, I know the past of grow. grow. Mm -hmm. It's uh, grew. 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 Mm -hmm. grew. Yeah. But I don't know the past of me. Uh, Claudia? Okay, Claudia. Mean 54. Claudia. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, come on. I know the past of me. me. It's it's meant meant, but but I don't know no. the past of um, kit. What uh, what number? Uh, Fifty-eight. Ah, uh, quit quit mm -hmm. quit. Again. Oh, okay, sorry. But quit. ¿Quién falta? Vamos, hay que anticipar, Claudia. Remember. Recuerda lo que les he enseñado. Hay que anticipar. Uh -huh. ¿Elsa? Ok, Elsa. Come on, Elsa. I know. 
What number, number please? Quit. Quit. Quit, quit, quit. What number? 58. 58. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, 58. 68. Mm -hmm. 50, ¿verdad? 58. Ah, 58, perdón. Quit. I know the pass of squid. It's squid. Mm -hmm. but, I, but I don't know the pass of Rice. Okay. Helen, please. Helen, rice. No lo encuentro. Number? 62. 62. 62. Rice. Um, I know the path of rice mm -hmm. is... Rose. Rose. But? But I don't know the path of... Let's. Mm -hmm. well, to whom? A quien? Marlon. Okay, Marlon. Okay, go ahead, Marlon. And then continue. Then, Marlon, you can mention Christian, Manuel, Jonathan. Of course. Uh, what's the verb? Can you repeat? Let, right, let, 50. In 50, oh, of course. I know the past of let. It's let. But I don't know the past of a uh, speak. Can you help me, please, Christian? Okay, speak. Yes. Okay, number 68. No, no huh? I know. 78. Uh -huh. 78, okay. Speak. Uh -huh. I know. 78. Mm -hmm. I know. No, I think it's far. In WhatsApp, lo mandé. Es que me había anotado otros así aparte, porque como el teléfono cuesta un poco para mm. usar. No, que dicen, pero la lista es la clave, si no, no vamos a tardar mucho. Ok. ¿Qué número? Ok, vamos a continuar mientras Cristian, después vamos, vamos con Jonathan. Ok, Jonathan, help us. Speak. Ok. I know the past of cualquiera, ¿verdad? Porque yes, se quedaba yes. medias. Yes. Okay. I know the path of light, but I don't know the path of swim. Okay, vaya. Entonces, I know the path of light, pero no me dijiste cuál es el pasado de light. Ah, perdón, path. perdón, perdón, perdón. Sí, tiene razón. I know the path of light. It's lit. It's lit. Uh -huh. But I don't know the path of swim. Creo que le dije, ¿verdad? Okay, swim, uh, that swim. verb goes for Manuel. Okay, Manuel. Oh, the pass of swim is swamp. Yes. But I don't know the pass of take. Okay, Christian, for Christian. Take, Christian. Yes. Take. Yes. 91. 91, take, talk. I know. Uh, I know the past of state. It's it's root, but I don't know the past of. Uh, okay. Talk. Okay. I know the past of take. It's took. Christian, creo que estás enamorado hoy, Christian, con la canción de Yellow. Okay. 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 I guess we finished. Thank you, Christian. Thank you. Creo que ya terminamos. Ten minutes and we finished. Diez minutos y terminamos. Please help me with these sentences that are quite simple, very easy peasy. So the first is going to be Marlon, please, Marlon. Of course. Um, In the past, remember, we're going to use past. Oh, of course. Uh, number one, my dad made toast for breakfast. Thank you. Now we're going with uh, Andrea and then Jonathan. And number two, mm -hmm. I, el pasado, verdad? Ya. El pasado, ya lo pasado, pasado, yes. Ah, no lo encuentro. Okay, Jonathan, and then you, Andrea, okay? Déjame ver. 
Yo no me acuerdo de ninguna ahorita, teacher. Well, you have the list, pero tienen la lista. Esa lista okay. Okay. es la clave okay, del éxito. otro y luego yo después. Ok. Andrea. Okay. I rode my mountain bike. Ok, vaya, Andreita. Uh -huh. Ah, no estás poniendo atención. Ok, and now we're going to listen to Carmen. Ok, we sold our old house. Yes, we sold our old house. Thank you. Now, Helen, are you ready? Helen, you need yes. time? Yes. Ok, uh, Jonathan. No, teacher. Uh, ok, ok, relax, Jonathan. Helen, entonces. Ay, de here. Uh, bye. Goodbye. Ok, the girl said. Mm -hmm. The girl said goodbye. Ok, thank you. Jonathan and then Luis. The alarm clock rang at six. Yes, run. Thank you. Luis, your turn. He, and, th and then Carito. He met some on the street. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. he, I, ok, he met. He met yes, some perfect. on the street. Met, porque en presente es meet. Thank you. Carito and then Manuel. Okay. They, okay. They they lost their way in the forest. Good, Carito. Thank you, Manuel. Are you there? They ran for two miles. Yes, for two miles. Mm -hmm. For two miles. Okay, okay. Maritza. They I saw the stars. Yes, I saw. So. So. Yes, I saw the stars. And with uh, the children, we're having Elsa. Okay, Elsa? The children, no vamos a decir sing. We're going to say? Sang. Sang. Okay. Sang. Thank you. So, can you see? It is not that, that bad, that, that, that difficult. No es tan difícil. Okay. So, remember to follow the list. Sigan la lista que les he dado. And it is good to try to memorize some of these verbs, especially the ones that are easier, easiest. Los que son más fáciles, okay? Así que esa lista que le di es importante. Imagine my teacher at high school, she gave me 400 list verbs. Una lista de 400 verbos. Nah, come on. So at least if you can learn the half, si se si aprenden la mitad, yeah, that's going to be, creo que se puede, se pueden más. Okay. Um, now uh, to finish, ya para ir terminando, here we have was and were. Creo que ustedes ya saben bastante qué significa was and were, que es el pasado del verb be. Quiere decir que si digo I am happy, puede decir I was happy. You are students, you were students. Okay. So can you see? Uh, este es más fácil, because in present we use am. Is are, but in the past we use only was and were. So utilizamos was were. Fácil. I was. I was. I was happy. Uh, he was hungry. She was a nurse. It was big. Fácil. Miren, los singulares was y plurales were. Es, this is easy piece. Okay. We were early. We were at school. We were quiet. Okay. We are early. Estamos temprano. We were early. Estábamos temprano. Okay. And this is the negative, pero no vamos a ver lo negativo ahorita. Solo quiero was and were, okay? So here we have some exercises to finish. Recuerden, was, were. Sigan su corazón. Follow your heart. If it is singular, we're going to use was. If it is plural, we're going to use were. And the first person is Carmen. And then Helen. Okay, number one. Mm -hmm. I was happy. Painter. Painter. Good. Helen and Andrea. Number two. There was a mouse in the garden. Yes. Yeah, tu corazoncito está con todo. Okay. We go with Andrea, right? And then Manuel. The children were in the park. Perfect. Manuel. And then we go with Christian. Who was studying. Como es el verbo es con ING, estudiando. You were studying. You were studying English. Okay, yes. You were studying English, perfect. 
Eh, who's next? ¿Quién va al siguiente? Eh, a mí, me. Ah, Christian. And then Elsa, please, Christian. I was watching television. Good one. I was watching television. Okay, eh, Elsa and then Luis. My grandfather was a pilot. 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 Perfect. Pilot. Pilot. Eh, Luis Maritza. Number three. We were playing football. Okay, playing football. Good one. Mar okay, Marlon and Jonathan. And number four. It was a rainy day. Thank you. Good. Uh, Jonathan, and we're going with. After Jonathan, we're going with Claudia. Number 11. Mm -hmm. It was seven years ago. Perfect. Uh, Claudia Carito. Number nine. Nine. Mm -hmm. Nine. My parents were in London. Good one. Carito. Number eight, Lorena and I was on the same place. Mm -mm. Lorena and I, vaya, si solo fuera I, fuera was. was Lorena were. and I were, plural. Lorena es... y yo fuimos, o Lorena y yo fui. No. Ok, entonces Lorena. sería Loren, Lorena and I were. On the, the same, same class. class. Yes. ¿Quién okay. se me queda? Creo que todos ya pasaron, ¿verdad? Okay. So the last is for, it's going to be for Andrea. Okay. The windows. The windows were closed. 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 Yes. Perfect. Uh, I can see that you are uh, improving, están mejorando con respecto a, with, to the pronunciation. Me gusta que no sé cómo sienten este tema de los verbos. ¿Están tanto complicadito? ¿Está tan difícil? Lo difícil es memorizarse, aprenderse. Sí, poco a poco. ¿okay? Puede ser un verbo por día. Repítanlo 32 veces y ya va a quedar grabado en su cerebro. 32 veces. Libre. Con que nos aprendemos otras cosas. You know, we'll have to demonstrate. Okay, so I'm going to, to take the attendance list and we say goodbye. Remember to finish the, the, the unit number one. Recuerden terminar la unidad uno. Las tareas, please do it. Please, please, please do it. For the ones who uh, hasn't finished yet. Okay, uh, a Mercedes, not here. Andrea. Present. Thank you, Carmen. I'm here. You're there. Claudia. Present. Okay, let me check, Claudia. Uh, no. Relax. Carito. I'm here. Yeah, you're there. Maritza. Present. Good, thank you. Christian. Present. Okay. Um, Elsa. Present, teacher. Good, Helen. Present teacher. Good. Jonathan. Present. Good. Um, Luis. Hello. Hello there, Manuel. No okay, Man Yes, thank you, Manuel. And Marlon. Present. Okay, my friends. Thanks. I know it is Friday and the body knows it. Viernes el cuerpo lo sabe. It is difficult to be here. I know, believe it or not. And uh, so uh, I see you on Monday. Lo veo el lunes. Cristian, te quedas ahora con lo de la sesión de los 10 minutos. Okay. And the rest, vayan, son libres. Vayan y no pequen más. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good evening. Good night. Happy night, weekend. Good night, night. Happy weekend. Good evening. Good evening. Luis, ¿qué pasó? Ah, se fue Luis. Bueno. Okay, uh, Christian, are you there? Is that for you, Christian? Yes. Okay, my friend. Do you think we need to reinforce uh, a topic? ¿Crees que necesitamos reforzar algún tema? Creo que pasó un cuadro de las de los verbos. Okay. En pasado, pero eran pero los primeros, no este último. 
Sí, porque eh, es... Tú te refieres... Ok, aquí tengo otro, ya te digo. De lo que hicimos unas oraciones. Uno que llevaba el dad. ¿Ese? No. Sí, este. Ese es, ok. Ajá, entonces, vaya, aquí tenemos este, eh, dos tipos de, ¿cómo se llama? Tenemos dos tipos de verbos, que son los regular verbs y tenemos irregular verbs, ¿ok? Eh, sí. Ya sabes cuál es la diferencia, right? Eh, no. Vaya, la diferencia es esta, mira, es bien fácil. Con los regular verbs, que son estos, todos los verbos regulares, mira que decían, van a tener ED. Fácil, fácil. Esto debe de ser así todos. No hay ninguno en el mundo que sea regular y no tenga ED. Todo debe de tener, si tiene ED, es regular. ¿Ok? Ahora tenemos acá los irregulares. What happened with the regulars? Ahorita solo nos vamos a enfocar en dos cosas. Nos vamos a enfocar en present y nos vamos a enfocar en past. Esto, olvidarlo. ¿Ok? Eso no importa. Por el momento. Pero ahorita se le va a preguntar sobre Vaya, lo que pasa es que el participio es así, mira. Digamos que aquí dice aceptar. Aquí aceptaba. Y el pasado participio es aceptado. Todo en pasado participio termina en ado, edo, ido. ¿Ya? Por ejemplo, bailar. Bailaba. Bailado. Destruir. Destruía. Destruido. Eh, ahora me ayuda con, con cepillar, brush. En pasado, ¿cómo sería cepillar? Cepillo, no. Cepillo. No, no. O cepillaba, cualquiera de los dos. Ah, y en ah. pasado participio. Tienen que terminar en ado, edo, ido. Vaya, porque digamos, por ejemplo, eh, de archivar, eh, ver el número dos, ¿no? Uh -huh. Archivar, arch archivaba, ¿y aquí? Archivaba y archivó. No, sí. No. Va, eso es pasado, pero el pasado participio tiene que terminar en ado, edo, ido. Archi. Archivado, archivado. Ah. Por eso te digo, archivado. Por eso te digo, tiene que terminar en, en, en ado, edo, ido. Ok, vamos con otro. Uh -huh. Vaya, mira, beber, bebía o bebió. Y aquí es bebido. Comer, comía o si no. Comió. No, um, no, no. Comido, Cristian. Comido, sí. Vaya, caer. Caía o cayó. ¿Y aquí? Cayendo. No, Cristian. Caído. Por eso te digo, mira, todo debe terminar en... Mira. Ado. Edo. Ido. Ido. Vaya. Vamos con esta. Feed, alimentar. Alimentaba. ¿Cuál sería de esas tres? Alimentado. Alimentado, muy bien. Eh, vamos a ver, pagar. Pagaba. ¿Cuál sería? Pagado. Pagado. Vale, hoy sí ya captaste, ¿verdad? Entonces, el pasado participio, pero ahorita no lo estamos utilizando. Que se diga, entonces, por eso, eh, la, ¿cómo se llama? Nos estamos basando en el pasado y el presente. Ahora, ¿cuál es la clave de esto? Ya te dije que los verbos regulares que tienen, ¿con qué terminan? Cuando los cambiamos de paso. L. Los verbos irregulares cambian. Cambian en su mayoría o totalmente. ¿Ya? Por ejemplo, mira aquí cómo está este. Eat, ate, eaten. 
Pero aquí solo se cambia casi todo, casi solo una letra. Mira, fall, fell, fallen. ¿Ya? O algunas que se quitan una letra. Feed, fed, fed. Y me preguntan, teacher, ¿pero cómo vamos a saber para identificarlos? Pues, eh, básicamente, tenemos que aprendernos. Ya. Yeah. Sí, porque nosotros solo se le agrega la... Sí, la exacto, Cristian. Es bien es fácil, más... ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ya que son bien fáciles los regulares. Solo se sí, le agrega. Ed. Solo los regulares, sí. Uh -huh. complicado porque cambia todo. Sí. ¿sabes? Sí, cambia, cambia todo o en su, bueno, casi todo en su mayoría. Entonces, tenemos, ahora vamos al otro que era el que te estaba dando. Ahora, aquí hay algunos que son fáciles. Por ejemplo, mira cuáles son los más fáciles. Los verbos irregulares que no cambian. Mira. Hit, en presente y en pasado, hit. Eh, tenemos, mira, quit, put. Tenemos set. ¿Ya viste? Sí. Eh, tenemos put. Post. Ya, esos son bien fáciles, mira. Uh, tenemos, yo creo que solo son esos. Ajá. Ya los Pero, demás ya habría que aprender. Sí, mira. Aprender. One, two, three, four, five, six. Va, mira, son seis. Y le dije que se tiene que aprender por lo menos 50. Vaya, solo tienes que aprenderte 44. Va, entonces. <risa> sí. Entonces, veamos. Hay algunos que son necesarios. Por ejemplo, go, went. Ese go lo tenés que aprender porque te lo tenés que aprender. Es importante. Ya. Si decís, I go to school, perdón, I go to work, voy a trabajar. Pero en el pasado no vas a decir, I go to work. Vas a decir, I, I, went. I went to work. Y le puedes agregar, I went to work yesterday. Fui a trabajar ayer. Ya. Vaya, have, este es súper importante, mira. Have es tener, por ejemplo, I have a dog, tengo un perro. Pero si quiero decir, yo tenía un perro, tengo que decir, I, I have oh, a dog. A dog. Have, a dog. Digamos que des, quieres decir que tuviste un perro hace cinco años. I had a dog five years ago. Vale, vamos a poner otro ejemplo. Ay, vamos a poner by, drink. Este es importante. Drink es beber. I drink soda. Pero si quiero decir yo tomé soda, tengo que decir I, I drank. Drank. Uh -huh. I drank. I drank soda. Uh -huh. Ya viste. Hoy sí ya captaste más o menos, Cristian. Sí. Sí, ajá, sí, ya viste por qué, ajá, por qué es importante este, esta lista de verbos y por qué es importante los worksheets que hemos estado viendo. Entonces, si sí. te das cuenta, estos mismos verbos son los que aparecen en las worksheets que hemos estado trabajando. Los mismos son, solo que sí hay que buscarlo. Pero, pero sería más difícil si solo lo comenzamos a hacer si, sin tener una lista. Por lo menos ya tenemos una lista que nos va a servir bastante. ¿Ok? Sí. Sí, lo que voy a hacer es imprimirla. Sí, imprimirla y, y dale una revisada. Dale una revisada y empezar a ver cuáles verbos aprenderte los más fáciles. Ah, mira, aquí está otro, mira. Que no cambia. Bet, mira. Bet. Vaya, vaya, son siete. Solo tienes que aprenderte 43, va. Imagínate. Y estos son varios, varios, ¿verdad? Que te puedes varios de estos en presente. Varios. Sí, sí. sí en sí, presente vale. fácil, ¿verdad? Pero poco a poco. Sí. Bien pasado. Eh. Así es. Bien, Cristian, se nos acabó el tiempo. Entonces, espero haberte ayudado. Hay que imprimirlos y pues busca estos verbos. Los podemos encontrar un montón en varias sí. canciones. En, en las canciones los vas a encontrar. Ok, sí, Cristian. Gracias. Bien, cuídate entonces. Have a good night. Goodbye.